Hey guys, this is Vegas, and I just want to review with you two option trades of the day. Sorry that they're being done late at night, but I wanted to review all the trades of the day, and these were my top two. Uh, there's so many trades of the day, but I got to tell you, I will not just be sharing the ones that are good trades of the day. I will be showcasing ones that are terrible trades of the day. And I will do that in a separate edition, probably this week, so that you can also learn from the mistakes. And believe me, I am not a perfect trader, so I also make mistakes in my trading. And so hopefully you guys can all relate and not feel like you're the only ones making trading mistakes. We all make them. And someone that says that they never take one loss is lying. Okay, so now let's talk about today's trades of the day. The first one's going to be Disney and the second one's going to be Boeing. So let me show you Disney and what made me watch this trade for the last few days ever since last week. And really what caught my attention was the money flow. So let me show you this. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you guys is that Disney had two major trades over the last, I guess, past week and very evident and it stood out and definitely watching the stock. So we saw 500,000 shares, $53 million, and another 500,000 shares for $50 million. Very aggressive and uh, thinking, what is going on with Disney? What is going on with Disney? Let's keep this on watch. So we did keep this on watch and look what's happened here. What I'm showing you here is the uh, you know, the trades for Disney, the open high and low and close and volume for the day from Yahoo Finance. And you can see here that the trades I just showed you momentarily, uh, they occurred one on um, April 17th and then the second one on April 21st. And if you look at April 17, uh, Disney did have a close of 106, but then you see that on 21st, it closed at $100.54. So when you look at these two trades, I mean, it's quite the spread of $6. So, you know, Disney, you know, we weren't sure what is it doing when you see um, money flow going at that amount. You're wondering, like, what is going on here with Disney? Are they buying? Are they dumping? Like, what are they doing? So we decided to just obviously still keep Disney on watch because there's still a lot of resistance points here. And you could see it was kind of hanging out around $100 or close enough to $100. And then we started seeing... Um, on the 27th, which was Monday, you know, we kept an eye on Disney and I kind of charted it and said, you know what, if this goes to 102, which seemed to be kind of the point of entry where Disney seems to have some resistance, but also an opportunity for a move. Um, we looked at it, that was kind of like the level, the support level. So 102 was the spot we were watching for. And look what happened here on Monday, 102 open and look at the high. 106.52, Tuesday 110.06, and today 112.70. So here's how we traded Disney. Okay, so as you can see here, I did alert my room first thing Monday morning that Disney 110 calls 11 cents, which is technically $11 for one contract, expiring on Friday. Now, I did go far from the money because, you know, those can move really well. And you don't always need to be so close to the money or in the money for the move or for those actual contracts to actually have action. And boy, oh boy, did this have a lot of action. A complete insanity. I mean, look at this. Today, those contracts went as high as $325 over 2,000, 3,000% per contract. That is crazy. Um, so $11 turned into $325 if someone would have held the contracts. I got to show you this gentleman in the room. One of the gentlemen in the room, E-Money. Look how many contracts he had. He is just besides himself because this was just a crazy experience. I mean, he took 243 contracts he bought. He paid 11 cents based, you can see my alert was 11 cents. And boy, oh boy, he sold them and he made um, over $7,000, 263% on the same day. And he sold them on Monday, bought them Monday, sold them on Monday. You know what, guys? I did the same thing. And I was, you know, wanting to sell and take profits. But here's what we did. We decided to roll up to a different strike. I mean, we even had the 113 calls at five cents 
and five dollars and i said these are super lotto expiring friday and look where they went today a hundred and thirty two dollars each i mean if you would have put 20 bucks in here he would have made like over four hundred dollars today i mean that is just i love this is why i love options the the amount of gains you can make is amazing um, and the nice thing to know is that if you put $20 on a contract or $5 on a contract, then that's going to be your maximum loss. So it's a little bit different than the stocks. But I got to tell you, that was a really good trade with eMoney. And you know what? He would have made a fortune. I mean, he would have made over $70,000 had he kept his original trade. But here's the thing. You cannot have anxiety to exit the trade because I have made this mistake myself where I hold it and hold it and hold it and I swing it and I don't take anything or I've taken money off the table and I hold the rest of my contracts into the next day. And you know what? Even though the chart was bullish and it was definitely looking for a follow through the next day, for whatever reason, some sort of activity in the market happens. And you know what? Next thing you know, I have lost over 50% of my gains, even though I did make money the day before. I still lost the value of my contracts the next day they could very easily decay so the whole point of trading these options and trading in general you just gotta take profits you know you just gotta take profits and not regret it so even though yes he could have made seventy thousand dollars you know what it's it's a hard pill to swallow sometimes but you know i'd rather be happy that i took this money than maybe regret that you know what I'll risk now $7,000 and hopefully wake up tomorrow and it's going to be worth a lot more because I think I'd be more upset to know that I didn't take this money than to wake up and know that I lost more than half of this money. So moral of the story is take your profits and if you still love the trade, then you should be taking the same strike with a different expiry. Now we're going to talk about Boeing. Okay, so you know, Boeing was the news nobody wanted to hear, but you know what? Earnings this season is here, and so we had to hear the scoop. So, you know, Boeing had reported an adjusted loss of $1.7 billion, and you know what? Not a surprise compared with a profit of $1.9 billion a year earlier. This is not just the coronavirus, I mean, this is just everything going on. Lots of bad press. Um, they mentioned that the, you know, it was mentioned that the S&P lowered their credit rating for Boeing to the BBB after the market closed, which is one step above the junk, saying that earnings and cash flow over the next few years are to be lower than previously expected due to the effects, mainly because of coronavirus. Um, you know, they also mentioned here that they don't know how much government assistance it may seek. You know, they keep saying that they just don't want any assistance from the government. So I don't know what Boeing's up to. I mean, they're working with investment banks on a potential bond deal worth at least $10 billion. They also drew down its entire $13.8 billion credit line. And, you know, they're saying they're weighing seeking government aid. So who knows what Boeing's doing? I guess we can't predict what they're up to, but I guess we're just going to trade what's in front of us. And that's exactly what we're doing. So you can see here that Boeing in particular, um, over the last couple of days, it's opened around, you know, 140, 136, 137. Today opened at 138. You know, we're kind of waiting for Boeing earnings to finally come out and decide, are we going to trade this or not? And um, we could see that it had some activity. I mean, it did close at um, 131 the day before. This morning opened at 138.08. So it did have a volume pop. Decided that we would trade this over $140, which is a good enough gap up to determine if there was going to be a move happening. It did run all the way to 147. So let, let me show you Boeing. Okay, so we were waiting for Boeing. And so 140 was kind of the spot that we liked. We decided to take the calls. Also alerted, by the way, on StockTwits. So those of you that follow me on StockTwits at Vegas1, here's my user ID, you would have seen my alert and been able to participate in the lotto play. So even though I do have a chat room service, I still share on social media because I really want to do help people learn and help people make money. Um, I do like giving back and helping the trading community. Um, so Boeing 165 calls, they were 15 cents. I called them a super lotto because these were very far from the money. I mean, we're talking a $25 spread between the prints and what the target was for the strike. And the thing is, if there is volatility in the stock, you will see the volatility react in the option contract. And that's exactly what happened. I did mention when the trade was alerted 
at 11.24, you can see like within a minute, I did post it here on social media. So it was just a few pennies off because it moved so fast. And you could see the move here coming on Boeing. And I did say the target was 145 and that if it didn't go, if it could go above that, I mean, it could move a little higher, but you know, 145 was kind of the number. Um, but anyhow, you can see that it went from 18 cents. If you took it on social media, I mean, it went as high as 80 and people in the room from 15 cents to 80. Now I want to just say something, not everyone's going to take it and sell it to 80 cents. A lot of people will sell at 30. Some will sell it at 45 because you know what? It's 200%. Uh, some will sell it at 60 cents because for them, 300% gains, they're thrilled. And you know what? You have to take the profits and not keep thinking it's going to go higher, higher, and higher. So um, look at this gentleman here, Tim. Uh, thank you so much, Tim, for sharing this um, screenshot of your trade on Robinhood. And he traded Boeing. He said he took 50 contracts. And for the May 1st, the 165s, he's thrilled. He got them as well for uh, 15 cents. And he sold them and he made 250% gains. He made $2,500 on his trade today. So congratulations to Tim. And I think he's one of our followers on social media. So thank you so much for sharing that and appreciate the shout out. So just want to show you um, these two trades today because I do want to show you at the end of the day, um, you don't need a lot of money to trade and you can trade with a small amount of money and grow. It really is to find a quality setup that has the potential to have a breakout like Boeing did today and having the money flow as well on certain stocks like what Disney did. So if you would like to learn more, you're welcome to come visit my room. The link is in the video. If not, not a problem. I'm happy to share free content at all times. I'll be making more videos to help you guys and I'll be posting also on social media. So please follow, like, subscribe, and I'll be happy to share more content. Have a great night and see you guys tomorrow.